I am definitely not Mitch Connor, and I am certainly really tired right now. I wanted to make videos for the last two days, but I haven't had any time because I have a real job. <laughs> I got numerous comments saying, you know, like, uh, you're clearly paid to do this and stuff. So, no, no. I'm paid to do the job that I have. I do this because I want people to research more. I'm not the authority on anything, and don't ever take me like that or anybody else, okay? People will give you good information. People will give you bad information. People will make mistakes with good intentions, and, you know? Even I will, okay? Understand that. But the, to those who have subscribed to me, I do appreciate it. Um, I got 40,000 views on that. Uh, it was basically the second video breaking that was up online on YouTube, breaking down the uh, hoax of the cop getting shot in the Paris shooting, okay? And last, no, sorry, three days, because I put that up on the 7th, right? 200 subscribers, 40,000 views, way more than I ever had in a couple of months that I've been doing this YouTube channel. So really, I do appreciate it. And as you can see here, I have a lot of links up here. Okay, this is basically what I missed over the last two days that I was not able to read, and I still haven't finished reading it. And I had to catch up on numerous, numerous uh, things here on this, but then I came across this. Now, though this has to do with biometrics and um, can easily connect to uh, the microchip, I do not um, say that the microchip is the mark of the beast, okay? That is not my belief. Um, I've made videos on it before, so I'm not even going to go into that. But what I am going to go into is um, the ridic ridiculousness of this article. Um, before I go into the France shooting a little bit, uh, probably make more than one video here. <laughs> um, uh, did you know that your own set of unique fingerprints can tell you about how all your uh, in individual brain processes information? It's true. Watch this week's Brody Files segment with human behavioral specialist Scott Black, who explains the fascinating details. I'm not even going to watch this fucking video. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not trying to be all about confirmation bias, but, well, CBN. What more do I have to say? And, by the way, yeah, I'm a Christian. Okay, so... That being said, um, let's look at these comments, which I'm going to tell you beforehand are fake as hell, okay? This is like watching one of those computers. These are not paid actors, okay? But we're they're putting it in comments instead of with paid actors. I went through the process with Mr. Scott Black, and this is the first objective assessment I have ever taken that reveals how I learn. Simply incredible! Might our fingerprints be God's serial number or barcode? This process is truly fascinating. I had mine done by Mr. Black not too long ago. I wish that this ju uh, uh, I wish <laughs> I just wish that this had been conceived when my children were. This informative tool could have enriched their lives and their future just by knowing how they learn and the best way to go about teaching them in that manner. It includes a lot of possible career choices suitable for their brain map and personality learning type. When you know what career that suits you best, oh, that sounds like communism, and you, and how you learn, you feel more confident. <laughs> this is a huge benefit. Think of all the money, time, and headaches this will or that will not be wasted if you know what career your brain and personality are best suited for. It's never too late for anyone to change their life for the better. It's never too late to learn just how many uh, ways smart you really are. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Black. This is so incredible. I really wish I had this done to me 50 years ago. I was taken out of first grade and put into a special school because I was labeled M M MR, mentally retarded, where I stayed until God opened up for me to go to Votech. What the fuck is that? Where I received my HS diploma, then went to Bible college. Isn't God good all the time? By, what does that say again? Um, Jimmy Vollmer? To those of you who know South Park, you know who I'm talking about, because this sounds just like a Jimmy Vollmer in a recent fucking South Park episode. Yep, I wish I could do the Jimmy Vollmer voice. I can't. I'm not a vocal impersonator. <laughs> I do my own voices. I don't impersonate anybody, except for Inigo Montoya. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Britain's in my five chief. Uh, this Yahoo News article warns Al-Qaeda in Syria planning mass attacks on West. See, it says it right here. <laughs> 
this silly article is by Guy Falconbridge, or is it Guy Falconbridge? <laughs> Hopefully it's Guy, because Guy sounds way, more, way less gay than Guy. And you uh, people who want to think I'm a homophobe or whatever, <laughs> bring it on. I don't really give a crap. Um, yeah, anybody who names their kid Guy in English is a fucktard. Guy? I'm not so much against that. I don't know. It just... I don't know the meaning of it, <laughs> you know, but it's like, guy, uh, you are a guy, you don't need the name guy. Okay. Um, Al-Qaeda militants in Syria are plotting attacks to inflict mass casualties in the West, possibly against transport systems or iconic targets. The head of Britain's MI5 uh, security service said on Thursday, uh, we should listen to that guy because uh, his MI5 has never had anything to do with... Um, uh, Plotting terrorism and shit. No, seven seven. Um, yeah, that was seven seven two thousand five, right? The subway bombings, like against transport systems, like seven seven. Speaking after gunmen killed twelve people in a assault on the French satirical newspaper, which is really fucking terrible. That that actually, I, I believe they died. So don't get me wrong on that, but. Uh, uh, the MI5 boss, uh, Andrew Parker, warned a strike on the United Kingdom was highly likely. Oh, so they're coming there next? How do you know that? Um, if they do, that really makes me suspect, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. A group of core Al-Qaeda terrorists in Syria is planning mass casualty attacks against the West. Director General Parker said in a rare public speech at MI5 headquarters in London. His last public speech was in October 2013. Makes me wonder what happened back then, but uh, as you can see, I, I got a lot to go through, so. <laughs> I missed this part when I speedily read it uh, the first time, but in the speech planned before the killings in Paris, Parker said seasoned al-Qaeda militants in Syria aimed to cause large-scale loss of life, often by attacking transport systems or iconic targets in the West. Um, oh, Christ. Okay, uh, this channel, Syrians Worldwide, I suggest you check it out. Just, uh, oh, God, <laughs> such bull. <laughs> um, these uh, al-Qaeda militants in Syria are controlled by Western intelligence groups. And I, I've i been studying this stuff for 15 years plus, particularly um, intelligence groups and yada yada, okay? And I did not document it. I did not have a YouTube channel, okay? I basically kind of tried to stay invisible in a way, you know? So if you don't know this and you don't believe what I'm saying, start looking into it, okay? I mean, for Christ's sake, the fucking same Al-Qaeda that allegedly brought down the World Trade Centers in 2001 in New York City, the United States started working with a couple of years ago in fucking Syria. So these seasoned Al-Qaeda militants were armed. They were the Free Syrian Army, for Christ's sake, okay? Period. You don't know that, look into it, okay? There's years worth of uh, journalism on this. I wish I could document everything for you, but I guess I, I was just lazy on that. You know, I keep it all in my brain. So don't just trust me on that. You got to research more. Everybody has to fucking learn more about these things, okay? And of course it goes on. Okay, to kill nearly three thousand people by attacking the United States with hijacked passenger plane. That is a bunch of no. That's a bunch of crap. And um, I'm not even going to go into that right now because there's much more research to be done on that, and I still have more research to do on that. And I've been researching it for fifteen years. Or nearly 15 years. I knew what it was as soon as it happened. And I continued to confirm that with the research that I did. Funny how much ended up on the Drudge Report, you know. And Drudge never came out and said what it was. Or, I don't know, maybe he knows that it's, uh, it's more than an inside job. That's not even the proper term for it. It was an international thing, but anyway... Al-Qaeda's leader, Osama bin Laden, was killed by U.S. Special Forces in 2011... For the 10th time, it forgets to say. And, God, even InfoWars fucking broke that, for Christ's sake. InfoWars. Shillery. And when I say shillery, I'm not talking about Shillery Clinton, who admitted on the floor of Congress that uh, the reason why Al-Qaeda is is because of the United States. 
It goes back to Mujahideen in 1980 and the Afghanistan versus Russia war. So in essence, what I'm saying is um, this fucking MI5 director, Parker, is a liar. He's full of shit. You don't know that. Well, you need to look more into it, okay? There's a lot of research to be done on this. Um, so, but spies in Europe and the United States have been troubled that Al-Qaeda militants from Pakistan have appeared in war-torn Syria. In what some intelligence analysts could uh, say... Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> what some intelligence analysts say could be part of a plot to mount a major attack against the West. Yeah. Um... They've been saying this for weeks. I showed that in a previous video or a month or whatever. And, oh, yeah, did I forget to say, uh, check out Syrians Worldwide. See, the the videos go back, like, two years. Or they st you'll start it, like, about two years ago, okay? And they will break down um, the uh, Western intelligence infiltration, in, uh, of, including the media, including CNN, in Syria, okay? And the things that they're pulling off there that are just sick. Syria is not... They should not be an enemy of the United States if the United States was a, um, if the government was good, okay? If they were, uh, benevolent. Now, by saying what I just said, I'm not supporting, uh, Syria. I'm not even supporting America. Now, when I, oh, sorry, the United States. Okay, because when I, I, really, when I say America, I'm talking about the American people. I love the American people. I love the people of the world, but at the same time, I hate the United States government. And I don't mean violence against it, and uh, anyone with any rationale would not do that. That is not the way of Christ. <laughs> and you don't like Christ, well, uh, I'm sorry for that, but whatever. It's not the point here. I'm trying to, I guess I'm trying to be secular about this, uh, what I'm covering here in this article. And this, and what I'm covering here does not even cover the um, Israeli influence in um, this whole uh, thing in France, okay? Which Free Radio Revolution on his, thank God, new, uh, newly uh, restored channel, the original Free Radio Revolution, where you just have to type in youtube.com backslash uh, Free Radio Revolution, all one word. It's back. And I'm happy as hell. So anyway, Thursday's uh, Thursday's stark warning from one of the West's most influential spy masters mirrors a growing concern among Western polit political leaders and their Arab allies about the threat from the cauldron of military groups in Syria and Iraq. Surprised they're not mentioning Iran there, because they really hate Iran. <laughs> About 600 British extremists have traveled to Syria, many joining the militant group which calls itself Islamic State. Now, if this is actually happening, it's only because Britain brought them in before they traveled to Syria as immigrants. And there is much connecting to it, uh, including, uh, what, wasn't it Woolwich? With that uh, fake beheading out in the street and stuff? Yeah. Um... So anyway, the uh, group, an off offshoot of Al-Qaeda, has beheaded two U.S. journalists and an American and two British aid workers. Oh, wait, no, that's all fucking lies, because those were fake as fuck. Yep. Should I even bother with the rest of this article, because it's a bunch of fucking bullshit. You can read here about MFI's establishment, but we, say we face a very serious level of threat that is complex to combat and unlikely to abate significantly for some time, says Parker. Who knows damn well that he is helping cause this. Oh yeah, that's not what it said. Because, uh, yeah, they want to spy on militant communications on the internet. Um, no, they want internet control even against people like me who see through their bullshit. If you didn't see David Cameron's speech a couple of months ago, it's on Free Radio Revolution's channel. He breaks it down like a motherfucker. So his sharpest concern as Director General is the growing gap between the increasingly challenging threat and the decreasing availability of capabilities to address it, blah, blah, blah. The dark places from uh, where those which to harm us can plot and plan are increasing, Parker said, and he's a part of that. 
and they need to be able to access communications because they want to control the internet.